Hey everybody, welcome back to Psychotic Plays. Today we are back with Wasted. So, I've been having a lot of fun with this game, but I think I'm going to do something a little bit different, because there is something I actually want to talk about. Um, because it is something that directly kind of affects me, because I've used it before, I know people who use it, um, and that's the CD key website controversy. Right now, G2A is at the pinnacle of this. Ow! Did I? Ow! Uh, G2A is at the pinnacle of this. While there's a lot of sites that do it, um, the reason G2A is at the pinnacle of this is because there's currently they're currently being sued. I think it's for about five hundred thousand dollars. Ow! Thought I could sneak around that. Um, I think it's about $500,000 in unpaid or reverse charges to... Ooh, cooler armor. Nice. Yeah, throw that on. Um, reverse charges to developers. And usually with this stuff, I stay out of it. You know, if you watch the channel, I don't really talk about politics, stuff like that. But I feel like this is something that we should discuss because I've used G2A. I've bought keys from there before. And I know a lot of people who do buy keys from there. So the the main thing here is uh, uh, they are, to me anyway, I don't know people at G2A. I don't know... That's 10 to 2, and this is uh, it's 1 to 2. Easy breather. Ooh, okay, leg armor. Nice. But, okay, so I'll... Those are on... Oh, I can only have one or the other? Okay, then I'll drop this. How do I drop? Is it Q? Oh, gee. Um, and take the point niner. Scalp. There we go. So... I've used them before, but... Oh, that was a woman? Oh. Um, as a content creator, one of the biggest worries for me is the developers copyright striking a video. Whether they do it because they believe it's an actual copyright, whether they do it because they believe I shouldn't be making money off of it, whatever the reason. And, in my opinion, as a content creator, we should be trying to meet developers in the middle ground. So, now this is horribly inaccurate. Um, so, the thing is, the thing about G2A is there's no real way to dis dis discern if it's a stolen key, if it's a if a stolen credit card was used for it, anything like that. And as far as I know, G2A really isn't going to put the effort into figuring it out because honestly, it's it's a gray patch if we even consider that part of their responsibility since they're just a marketplace it's like is eBay responsible for making sure people aren't selling stolen goods ultimately I would say no but there should be balances and checks in place to make sure someone's not selling stolen goods like if for, if suddenly someone shows up with a thousand keys that they're selling maybe that should be investigated but that's beside the point. That's for G2A to make up their own mind later. That's It's their business. I'm not telling them how to run it. I'm bringing up my humble opinion on the matter. And that is, as a content creator who does not want the... Oh, no. Give me my cooler armor back. Nice. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. 
as a content creator who who does not who wants respect from the developers who ow who does not want to have a video strike against me I uh I have decided that I will not I will no longer be using G2A or equivalent sites to purchase keys. If I knew someone was stealing credit cards, or if I knew someone was working, not illegally, not working illegally, hell I've done that, but if, if I knew there was something unsavory going on, I wouldn't take part in that as well. So as far as I'm concerned, it's the same thing for me with these keys. I can't prove that they're not stolen. And it's very difficult to prove that in any way. Now this may affect some people who actually do sell legitimate keys on G2A. But unfortunately, as a, like I said, as a content creator, I believe the developers should be paid for what they make. If I don't like what they make at all, I don't buy it. Um, it's, it's that simple for me. If there's a developer that I don't like part of their product, I don't purchase that product. And that's how I show if I support the developer or not. But if I don't support them, I don't support them at all. I still don't purchase the game if it's stealing it. And that's me. Everyone has their own opinion. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad if you purchase through G2A. Uh, like I said, before all this started and I really looked into what G2A did, I purchased through there as well. So. I, uh, I'm not I'm not trying to do a pot calling the kettle black thing here, but I just thought with all the controversy and because it does directly affect what I'm doing as a like I said as a content creator, one of the biggest scares is that we'll get um, copyright struck or we'll get into a situation where. A certain developer does not want us to use the games, the footage, stuff like that. It's a huge thing with, with YouTube. And the laws aren't necessarily in place yet to be 100% clear on who's in the right and who's in the wrong. But my opinion on this is as YouTubers, especially as a gaming YouTuber, I am using other people's other things other people have made to make my content. Now I'm adjusting it some, I have my commentary running along, and I think I'm hilarious, but to some, it might look like I'm just sitting here with a hand of my finger up my butt, playing video games, uh, no, I'm not going to drink any more unmarked flasks, and not really doing anything, and that's fine, everyone has their own opinion, but my... Tater, no. My thing here is, if I expect the developers to show me respect and not copyright strike, or if they have an issue, try to contact me before anything happens, stuff like that, then I should show them the equal amount of respect by purchasing the games I like, for their suggested price, and I'm not saying, and I don't count Steam sale because that stuff still goes to the developer. Uh, Steam sales still go to the developer. It's at a discounted price, but as far as I know, that price has been agreed with with the developer. I don't think Steam just because there's some games that don't go on sale. So. <laughs> you know, Steam sale's fine, and it, like I said, if you buy CD keys, I understand games are expensive. And if I wasn't doing the YouTube thing, I might still buy from G2A, to be completely honest. But, as a content creator, I believe it's 
my responsibility to at least try to meet the developers halfway. Uh, and some to come to some kind of compromise with them because there, it's gotten better recently. Less content or less developers, I'm sorry. Less developers have been pulling the plug on channels, but they still do it. And it's for games like Firewatch and Layers of Fear, stuff like that that's really narrative driven. Well, at the very least, if we're going to. Really? Really? Thank you make this we should support the developer and I think that it's up ow that sucked I think it's up to us the ones who make the YouTube videos to make it clear to the developers that we're not trying to steal their content in any way we're trying to share the things that we enjoy with people that's why I I don't play games I don't like. This gun sucks. Did I have a die pistol? No, but I got the doozy. Um. Oh wow, that's even worse. Holy crap. Let's let's go back to that for now. Um. So. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I, I don't I, I think it is up to the YouTube community the the game the creators the content creators to show the developers that we don't mean any harm by making the content we do we're not trying to steal anything we are not trying to take 10% more damage from melee attacks why why would I do that? Um, that we, we don't mean any harm. We really are just trying to share things that we really enjoy. Not only with other people, but to share them with the other people so that they enjoy them and that they might also buy them. And, <laughs> like I said, that's why... Um, I will not be... Trying to turn you to paste. <laughs> Oop, 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 oop. Ow! Really? Wow, this is... Am I still, like... I must still have something going on, because I'm getting my ass whooped. <coughs> mm, excuse me. So, yeah. As someone who used to use G2A and CD keys and all those other ones... I'm taking a ethical stance as a content creator in saying I will no longer be purchasing through them and I won't be supporting them um, because there is a way for streamers to get supported by them by putting a link with their username and everything and getting people to purchase games through them. That I definitely don't agree with because that is a direct support of them and there is no way to prove that it's not stolen. Now you can also say, you can come from the other side, guilty until proven innocent. <coughs> it is up to someone to prove that they haven't been stolen first. But my point on that is if I walk into an area if I go to a flea market and every single week someone gets something stolen at that flea market. Ooh, what's the fucking Bronco? Ignore armor, huh? Alright, well let's try this. No, give it. Thank you. And someone gets something stolen every weekend. That's not... I can't be too surprised if I get something stolen. So, and it's because of the controversy, and it's because I make the content, because of the content I make. Um, 
we have to, I believe at least, as content creators, that we have to show the developers that we're willing to meet them at least halfway and that they don't have a reason to content strike us, copyright strike us, because... Come on! Jeez. Um, they don't, they, they don't have a reason to believe we are out, that we have anything but the best intentions in mind. And there's some who don't. There's, there's some streamers who are going to say it's not, or there's some content creators, not just streamers, um, who are going to say it's not my responsibility to make sure they're stolen. There's no way to prove they're stolen. And they are absolutely right. I'm not saying G2A is a black market seller. I'm not saying you only get stolen keys because you don't. You get legitimate keys on there. As someone who is trying to do something more professionally as far as this content goes, I think it's my responsibility to make sure I'm not receiving stolen keys. The average person, I would say, no, it's not your responsibility to check and make sure nothing's stolen before you receive it. But if I had a pawn shop, if I had a professional pawn shop, that was my living, it would be my responsibility to make sure I was not receiving stolen goods. That would be my responsibility. That would be something that is part of my job. Lightweight lager, huh? You've not, uh, you move faster, but you can knock back a lot more. Your accuracy is reduced by 10%. Get moved back a lot more. Killing enemies will cause them to explode. Well, yes. So. That's what I, that's that's kind of what I wanted to bring up today is this controversy not what just with G2A. There's CD keys, there's penguin, uh, there's there's a bunch of them that need to be more aware of of what's going on. But like I said, it's not necessarily their responsibility either. It's not like I said, it's not eBay's responsibility to make sure every single thing is clean before it's sold on their website. Just like it's same G2A, CD keys, CD keys. It is not their responsibility to make sure every single key is not stolen. But when you're talking about something in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in stolen keys, allegedly, then that's a huge issue. That's something that needs to be examined. So for me, as a content creator, as someone who is hopefully going to get bigger, yeah, hopefully, I can't in good conscience, conscience, good conscience, uh, continue to support what I think is a broken system. I believe developers should get paid for what they made, make. And for that reason is why I huh, why I sweet and short. All right, I'll sell that. Um, why I I won't be doing anything with those until a the developers give them an okay, or b they can do a much better job of policing their sites. And that's another thing is, if you make a website, it it is part of your responsibility to make sure it's functioning the way it's supposed to. Uh, oh no. Oh no, 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 It's a good song. Um, okay, so. Uh, I will go ahead and sell that and sell that 
You know what? I get plenty of muck guts. I'll sell those out too. Plus swole. Cool armor, no. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, how do I... Grenade. Um... So, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to bring up for this. It's probably a little bit shorter. I'm not 100% sure. Um, how long I've been talking now. Sometimes I lose track. But, that's, that's my stance. Um, as of now. Can I drop these scalps off for him? Let's check real quick. I, I won't be purchasing anymore from CD Key Sites. You know, whether that's G2A, whether it's CD Keys, Penguin, whatever. Um, Is there a pro horror in this? Uh, it is done. Please it. Oh, okay. So I have to have the full amount, so I should store those. So, that's kind of where we're at right now. Well, that's where I'm at right now. Like I said, there's no judgment if you use it. I understand video games are expensive. They... If, if you want to play, it can be incredibly costly to, to purchase new games, to purchase DLC, which that's a whole nother conversation there, guys. Um, and to just, just be a gamer in general is getting super expensive. Thankfully, we have stuff like Steam Sale. But... So, like I said, I think that's all I'm going to go ahead and do for today. Hopefully I didn't bore you with my opinions. If you have a different opinion, let me know. If you think I'm completely wrong and uh, insane and whatever, let me know. But, like I said, it's, it's my opinion for a matter that does actually affect me. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask... A lot of different questions about stuff and very little of it directly affects me so I usually don't have an opinion but like I said in this instant uh, excuse me allergies um, I definitely have an opinion and I definitely know what it is so guys as always thank you for watching I'll see you next time